U.S. Treasury Department announces uh, the U.S. has hit its debt ceiling. That's right. The announcement means that the country has reached its borrowing limit and is now in danger of defaulting. Possibly. The United States it's hit its borrowing cap of $31.4 trillion. The Treasury has now started taking extraordinary measures to prevent a debt default. Overnight, the U.S. hitting its debt limit. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warning the government could delay payments as the White House refuses to budge on its spending plans. Here to react. Well, we see the numbers are already $31 trillion in debt, and then we pass this $1.7 trillion monstrosity, plus the $1.5 trillion in COVID spending. At some point, enough is enough. The U.S. national debt, also known as the federal debt, is the total amount of money the federal government owes to its creditors. As of January 20th, 2023, the debt is around $28 trillion. The U.S. government borrows money by issuing treasury securities, such as treasury bills, notes, and bonds. These securities are sold to investors, both domestic and foreign, and the government uses the proceeds to fund its operations and pay for various programs and initiatives. The largest holders of U.S. debt are domestic entities, including the Federal Reserve, Social Security Trust Fund, and various government retirement funds. The next largest holders are foreign governments, central banks, and international institutions such as the International Monetary Fund IMF. China and Japan are currently the largest foreign holders of U.S. debt, followed by Ireland and Brazil. Yeah, some bookkeeping shifts, Errol. They're going to stop payments on some of the retirement pension accounts, things that would affect retirees down the road. Also stop the reinvestment of some security investments the federal government makes. None of that has any short-term impact, and the Treasury Department says it'll make good on this when the crisis ends, but it buys Congress some time. It gives them a few more months to raise the debt ceiling. It's $31.4 trillion roughly now, but the federal government has to keep borrowing to pay for the expenses it's already incurred. It's not future spending, it's handling previous spending. Today is the day it hits the limit, the $31.4 trillion, which puts the pressure on Congress to figure out how to get this done. At this moment in time, Errol and Lana, there don't seem to be any real meaningful conversations. It's just two sides talking past each other. The Federal Reserve, also known as the Central Bank of the United States, is the largest holder of U.S. debt. The Fed holds Treasury securities as part of its monetary policy operations, such as quantitative easing. The Social Security Trust Fund is another major holder of U.S. debt. The Trust Fund holds Treasury securities as a way to invest the surplus Social Security payroll taxes collected from workers. Foreign holders of U.S. debt, including governments and central banks, hold treasury securities as a way to invest their foreign exchange reserves. They may also hold U.S. debt as a way to diversify their portfolio of investments. We're all learning to deal with it. We go to the grocery store, everything's more expensive. We can't buy certain right. items. And we've learned to handle that as American households, but our governments can't seem to do this. The Democrats' response to this was what? 87,000 IRS agents. And I'm here to tell you that we don't have a tax revenue problem. It's clear that we have a spending problem. The U.S. debt has been increasing over the years, and it is projected to continue to grow in the future. The main drivers of the increasing debt are entitlement programs such as Social Security and Medicare, as well as defense spending and other government programs. Despite the large size of the U.S. debt, the U.S. government is still considered to be a safe borrower and is able to borrow at low interest rates. This is because of the strength of the U.S. economy, the stability of its political system, and the role of the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. It's also worth noting that some experts argue that the U.S. debt is not a problem as it is mostly financed by the U.S. citizens and the interest rate of the debt is low and the debt to GDP ratio is still manageable. However, others argue that the increasing debt levels could pose a risk to future generations and the U.S. should focus on reducing its debt levels to avoid any potential economic crisis. Some people or businesses might not get paid who are expecting to be compensated by the federal government in particular programs, and we don't know who the, those individuals or entities would be. There could be ratings downgrades from uh, the credit rating agencies who no longer think that we are the gold standard 
when it comes to uh, borrowing. The $31.4 trillion is an artificially imposed cap. The debt ceiling has been increased roughly 80 times since the 1960s. Congress created the debt ceiling in 1917 to give the government greater borrowing flexibility. And it must approve each increase to ensure that the United States meets its debt obligations and avoids a catastrophic default. Overall, the U.S. debt and its holders is a complex issue that requires careful analysis of the current and projected economic situation, as well as the government's policies and spending habits. The debt-to-GDP ratio is a commonly used metric to gauge the sustainability of a country's debt, and the U.S. ratio is currently around 130%. However, a rapidly increasing debt-to-GDP ratio can be a cause for concern and can lead to inflation and other economic problems if not addressed.